Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gamers of all ages, welcome to the channel. My name is Silent Gamer, and today we're taking out the BF 109 F4 out on an air realistic battle. So, stay tuned. Engines up, and let's go. Now, most people don't uh, understand how the BF 109 F4 works. Because it uh, overheats a lot. And the simple trick to that is use manual engine control, aka mech. And I'll show you how in a second. So, only control the radiator. The radiator controls. And that's about it. And you'll have infinite. Uh, infin excuse me, infinite whip. And you'll be perfect. Anyway, what do we have? We got a lot of fighters. We got a P-47. I hope that he does good. Because uh, that thing is quite deadly. A couple of BF-109s. Ah, this, this is looking great. Anyway, the BF-109 uh, F-4 especially has uh, one of the fastest climb rates out there. I mean, I call this uh, the low tier jet. The 20, uh, 20 second climb rate, nothing can compete with that except if you up to your uh, Spitfire Mark 1, I believe. Yes, uh, Spitfire Mark 1 with a 2.7 BR. If you up tier it, it can catch up to this beast. Other than that, people also don't know how to under don't know how to use the cannons on the 109. It's not the spray method like the 50 cals, but it's more like a couple of shots and your targets go boom boom. Especially if you pair it with the air targets, meh. You only need one shot to hit. Okay, we got a P-51 going after that uh, Dora 217. He's dead. Ah, bombers. We have a B-25 under us, going for ground targets. He's gonna be dead soon. And we'll see what else. Man, this is what I don't understand about the Allied teams, especially uh, in this period. Is that they don't climb. They go low. I don't... I don't understand how that works. The American planes, especially, they need altitude to survive, and they perform well in altitude, especially high altitudes. The 109 suffers a tremendous performance downgrade at the level of 7,000 meters. Not the P-47 on the P-51, or the American planes in general. They excel at that altitude. Anyway. No enemies spotted yet. We got an XP-55. An XP-55 down low. Gonna level out here. Yeah, shit. P-47 down low. And... At least the P-63 at our level. That thing is dangerous. Going to engage. B-25 is down. Oh, 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 oh. Dang. These guys need to die. Like, for real, they need to die. Okay, let us start with whom? B-47. That thing is dangerous. Losing a little bit of energy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you boom and zoom. The B-51 is on our asses right now. Uh, he cannot catch us, we have a lot of energy. Ooh, rather locked up right there. I know I said, please have a little bit of patience with me. 
Okay, an F6F in our range. Okay, I need to get closer. Oh man. Okay, P-51 going on for a head-on. Not gonna take that. No, thank you very much. And he's dead. This is an enemy kill assist waiting to be had. To be picked up. Anyway, B-51. And their team got demolished. I don't understand why, man. Ah, good old American teams. I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second match. We're on Normandy. We're against the Allies as usual. We got a P61. Shot down by a BB238. We also have a B38G in Halifax uh, going after the B38 because it is more dangerous. Actually, got a French Yak 3. And I think this match will be great because they actually took the time to climb. Then the Yak 3 is uh, uh, Tau 154. That. You're gonna die if you don't disengage, man. The P 38. Sheesh. The thing is not on you. And I think that he is AFK. I don't know. Let's get closer, closer, closer. And aircraft destroyed. And that's how you shoot. With the 109 F4. I mean, I only shot 10 cannon rounds. No more, no less. The air targets, the air target belts, they'll do their job, don't worry. Just be precise with your aim and get closer. Uh, this over overheating issues. Going after the Yak-3 and we got a P-51 incoming. I believe that's the... Uh, that's not the 50 cal one, that's uh, the 2 Hispano version. That boy needs to die. The Yak-3 is not the threat to me yet, because most players don't know how to play Yaks. The P-51 is diving, disengaging from him, going after the Yak-3. Don't want to lose altitude, and especially when I have energy. And where the hell is the enemy team at? Most of them got destroyed, our team lost one bomber and I'm catching this Yak-3 because the Russian planes <laughs> they don't perform at high altitudes this is high for a Russian plane Yak-3 we got a P-63 on our asses the Yak-3 is feeling confident and he's trying to bait I'll pass Yep, nope. When you get better with your aiming, come back. Destroy. And I got hurt. Need to RTB fast. My wing is killing me right now. 
My left wing got a big old hole in it. Let's not lose altitude because the engine is going to die soon. We got two kills. That is perfect. Well, not perfect. I guess uh, the 109 is capable. Much more. But what can I do? And this is the worst case the worst case scenario, I mean. With the 109 you can get kills easily. And look at my cannon rounds. Bad landing. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know uh, this video may seem a bit boring to you, but i um, still new to this YouTube thing and uh, I apologize for that. But if you did like it or if you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more of War Thunder videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.